Hi, good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week, and I have Edison with me, and I have Oreo with me today. Okay, I have a word of the day I like to share with everyone, and today's word of the day is urge. Urge can be a verb or a noun. The definition is to push or force along, impel with force or vigor to impel or move by some action, urged by necessity, an involuntary or instinctive impulse. I urge you to move quickly or we'll miss the movie. Synonyms are desire and insist. And my thought of day is be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. So it's always possible to be kind. So make sure you are doing kind acts. And speaking of uh, kind acts, I wanna talk about Miss Bridges class um, they have been going outside and they have been cleaning up and this is not something um, that she has been telling them to do. This is something her students came up with the idea to clean up the trash and make our school more beautiful. So thank you to Ms. Ms. Bridges students. That is so kind and so nice. So make sure you're doing uh, act of kindness every single day. Don't forget about our steam nights. For third and fifth grade, it's Wednesday, March 16th. So make sure, uh, teachers, make sure you're sharing the link so parents can sign up. Uh, you can only sign up to the 22nd. And then after that, you cannot sign up anymore. So that is third through fifth grade. It will be on March 16th at 6 p.m. And it will be on Zoom. And for grades kindergarten through second grade, it will be on Wednesday, March 9th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Zoom. Again, make sure uh, teachers, please tell the parents and boys and girls tell your parents, you have to sign up by February 22nd. Otherwise you can't participate in the STEAM night. Okay, so I would like to congratulate Apollo Para for all his hard work in chess. He is a chess master. So he is the chess club spotlight. Um, so congratulations to Apollo Para for the, being in the chess club spotlight. He recently received third place in January in an in-person tournament and placed first place in a Grand Prix tournament last week. So congratulations. Okay, so this is the district-wide results from the Grand Prix chess tournament. And thank you for Ms. Icon for all your hard work with us. So from second and third grade, Altar Arzeli, first place, Siddharth Arano, second place, and our Arzeli, fourth place. That is awesome. Congratulations, guys, for being such great chess masters. And from fourth and fifth grade, Violetta P, for fourth place. Great job. 
That is truly very impressive. We have such great chess players. So that was from the Grand Prix chess tournament uh, and the district ride results. So congratulations. Don't forget um, the luncheon teachers is happening on February 23rd. Today is the last day to pay for the luncheon. So please make sure that you pay your person. Uh, if it's only $10, it's gonna be a great event. I know that the Black History Committee is working super hard on this event. Uh, so make sure that you are working on that, um, that you will come and it's gonna be so much fun and to participate in a Black um, History Month um, event. And speaking of Black history, after we do the do the right thing, I have some presentations to share with you. And don't forget about the door decorating contest. Okay, for third grade, we have, this is do the right thing. Destiny for Carol and Altair Ozeli from Ms. Alarcon's class. Camille Mazim, Lexington, Lexington Pyatt Wilson from Ms. Garcia's class. And from fifth grade, Maria Lopez, Camila Sanchez, and Ms. Segaro um, from Ms. Segaro's class. Congratulations to all those students for doing the right thing. That is fabulous. Great job. Okay, so yesterday we saw this presentation, but I didn't play the video. So I'm going to play the video for you today. And then I have another uh, presentation from Ms. Colton's class for Black History Month. Blessings probably for enough for uh, 10 people, isn't that the truth? Uh, it is, but I wouldn't be the guy that I am today. I feel like the obstacles and everything I had to go through to get to where I am and maybe who I am, I wouldn't change any of it. that is and you know people say oh that's that's not blood well I feel like family is who you love you know who you always want to be around who's there for you with your holidays who's there um for your first game for your first start you know things like that and if you would ask me those questions they were always there so excellent presentation thank you so much for sharing that with us Okay, so I have another presentation from Ms. Colton's class, and this is from Valeria Ramos, and it is about Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges is a 67-year-old woman who was born on September 8th, 1954 in Tylerton, Mississippi. On November 14th, 1960, Ruby was the first African-American woman to enter an all-white school. She was only six years old at the time, and she had to have three people to protect her just to walk to school because there are a lot of white people who didn't like her. A lot of white people were angry and had to take their children to another school. When she got older, she wrote a book about the experience she had as a kid. Ruby Bridges is a very brave woman. 
Some facts, uh, she was born September 8th, 1954, Tylertown, Mississippi. She was the first African-American woman to go to an all white school. She has five siblings. She wrote a book about her experience and Ruby was young. She loved to play in her jump rope, loved softball and climbing trees. This is her timeline, born on September 8th, 1954. She founded a foundation called the Ruby Bridges Foundation. Uh, here she is 1960, I, I really love these timelines. She was the first African-American to enter all white school. And in 2020, uh, she made a book, This Is Your Time. And here are some pictures of Ruby Bridges. And tomorrow we are going to do the video. So tomorrow I will, um, not tomorrow, I'm sorry, uh, for Tuesday, since there is no school on Monday, I will play the video for that. So on Tuesday, I will have the Ruby Bridges video. Okay, so yes, so keep in mind, there is no school on Monday. It is President's Day. It is President's Day. There is no school on Monday. Okay, so there was an issue with the copy machine and progress reports. So elementary, I am going to try to have them for you today. Middle school, I am not sure what is uh, going to happen. Uh, they are, progress reports are in the portal. Uh, so in everyone's portal, they are in there now, but I am working on getting them printed. There was an issue with the copy machine, but I believe it's been fixed now. And so I will try to get that to you. I want to do a shout out to my tutoring students, um, Adrian, Joshua, Ava, and Christian. Uh, you guys are working really hard and I know you're going to do really well. So there's a little shout out to you guys. Okay, so it is Ticket Friday, so I'm going to pick out 10 names and you can come to the Media Center to collect your prizes. Okay, ticket number one is Luca from Miss Stewart's class, Luca Oliveira from Miss Stewart's class. Ticket number two is Aiden from Miss Edwards' class. Ticket number three is Kayla Miller from Ms. Mahars's class. Ticket number four is David K from Ms. Marrero's class. Ticket number five is Lexington Pyatt Wilson from Ms. Garcia's class. Okay, ticket number six is Maria from Miss U Maria Paula from Miss Yola's class. Ticket number seven is hold on. Uh, Gilbar Gilberto Gil Gilberto um, from Miss Adabogan's class. Okay, ticket number eight is Kevin from Miss Castillo's class. Ticket number nine is Alexander from Miss Romero's class. And our last ticket goes to Audrey, um, Andrey, A-N-D-R-E-Y from Miss Tuckler's class. Congratulations to all the winners. Please come to the Media Center to collect your prizes. Don't forget, book fair is going on. Today it is fourth grade, and next week it will be fifth grade, sixth grade, and seventh grade. Please make sure that you are following the schedule. Uh, remember that you can go onto the website and you can buy books online, and they go right to your house. Okay, so same books that are in the book fair, and you can shop online, and they will go right to your house. I hope that everybody has a great long weekend. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.